Friday. Um, here with you for another coffee and craft morning. I am having a very klutzy morning. I don't know if anyone else experiences those, but there's been a lot of spilling and dropping of things going on this morning. So this could be an interesting video. <laughs> we'll see how things go. Let me just make sure that um, I'm up and you guys can see me. Okay, you can only see half my head apparently. Um, hold on. I'm just going to slide back for a minute. And let's see if that, okay, it's not playing on my screen. Let me hit play here. Okay, I don't know why there's a black line at the top of the screen. Anyways, hopefully you can see me now. Um, so yes, yeah, so as I was saying, I've been dropping everything this morning <laughs> and spilling things and making a mess. Um, so hopefully I don't do that when I'm making this card, but who knows, we'll have to see. You can still only see, like, my head. What is going on there? I don't know. That's weird. I keep sliding back and it's like, no, I'm not recording up there. Is that better? I don't know. We'll have to see. Anyways, I'm going to switch it to the card anyways in a minute. So it doesn't really matter. I just only have like two thirds of the face this morning. Um, okay. I think I fixed it. Either that or you're watching the ceiling. I don't know. Okay. That looks better. Um, anyways, um, so I thought we'd do some playing with one of the stamp sets I opened yesterday. Um, to a wild rose. Yeah. Um, uh, haven't played with it at all yet, so this is going to be fun. Um, we're going to do some kind of three step stamping um, in some bright colors, and I think we're making a thank you card. Um, I think we're going to use this other stamp set here um, Kindness and Compassion. I really like the script, so and make a thank you card. We'll see how it goes. All right. Um, if you have any plans for this weekend, let me know in the comments. Um, my children's father is working this weekend, so I will be on mom duty all weekend. So that's keep them busy and out of trouble. My daughter started walking this week, so that's been fun. Um, really happy that she's doing that, but also it's a lot more work making. And she's also a climber, so making sure she's not climbing on things and falling and lots of baby proofing. Um, so it's been a busy week. Um, yeah, so let's get started on our craft and drop me a line about your weekend. I want to hear what you guys are doing. If you're doing any crafting or I do have a craft class on Saturday. Um, so I will have a bit of a break. Um, but yeah, show me some projects that you're working on, et cetera, et cetera. Um, and, but let's get started with our craft. I'm going to have some coffee first. Hopefully I don't spill it. Okay. Alright, can you guys see there? It looks like it's up, you're upside down. I'll have to turn you again. Hold on. There we go. Alright. You can see now. I don't know how to zoom out on these things. So. Alrighty, let's see. Can you guys, let me turn the set on. Okay. There we go. Hopefully that's brighter. Over there. It looks dark on my screen, but hopefully you guys can see this. Okay. All right. So here's, let's get started. Ah, okay. See, I've told you I've been dropping things all morning. Okay. So here's one, uh, we're going to start with this big flower. I wanted to do like a little background piece for our card. So our card base, I'm doing a top fold card again this morning. You can switch it up and do a side fold card if you want. Um, so again, you're doing, so this is four and a quarter by 11 and you're going to fold it. So it's four and a quarter by five and a half. Let me do that now, get that out of the way worry about it. I keep meaning to order a new bone fold because I've had this one for years and I love it. It's just work hard for me. Okay. 
All right, so I want to make a cool background piece. So what I did, um, because this is a bundle, it comes with the dies. So I die cut some of the bigger flower pieces in advance. I'm going to move this back because it looks like you're kind of low on my screen there. Okay. Um, I die cut some of these flower pieces in advance so that I could use them as masks to do this little kind of background strip. Um, I picked Melon Mambo Black. Um, and granny apple green for my colors for this card. I may switch up the green as we're going through it. We'll see how this goes. Um, we'll see. Okay, so let's get started. So these are photopolymer clear stamps. So I'm just going to peel this off, peel this off, and stick it on my card. On my block card block. Okay. Now, I just want a black, like, outline of the flowers on here. So I'm just inking up really well. Hopefully this is going to work. Okay. And then I'm just going to stamp on here. Oh, voila. Beautiful. Okay. A whole bunch of times. So now that I've done that, I'm going to use my mask. I didn't mark this, which would have been handy to do ahead of time. Um, so I'm lining this up properly. You can also stamp on it first. Um, so I did it quickly and didn't stamp on it. It makes it easier to line up if you have it stamped. But I'm just going to see if I can. There we go. Line out my mask. So I'm covering this. Now I did it in cardstock, which maybe wasn't the smartest idea. But let's see. Can get this to stamp. Okay. Whoops. Let's see. How did I do? Did I mess this up? Did. Okay. You know what I did? I should have done my mask and paper. And I didn't think of that until I was about to do it. Because, so learning, thick paper doesn't work very well for masks um, because it's too thick. And then you don't get enough pressure kind of closer to where the, the cardstock is. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to quickly big shot these with some printer paper. And you know what, seeing as I have my stamp and my ink out, let's make it really easy on us. And do stamp our masks first. Let's do that, and then we go that big shot. I meant to put you guys the other way. I'm going to adjust this because I think that, oh, never mind. You guys are good. See, I dropped something else. I told you. It's a klutzy day today. Okay. Dies. Here they are. Once I start stamping, it's not going to work. Pull it up like that. Alright, the second one. this to the side. Okay, 
Now, I'm hoping it's two-sided, so yeah, but I think we can maybe salvage it because I have, we're using photopolymer stamps, which is one of the benefits of photopolymer stamps is that you can see where you're going to line it up. So I'm going to try and save this. If not, I'll flip it over. Alrighty, how do we, there we go. One mask. Two masks. Okay. I'm going to ink this up again and see if I can. Line this up well enough that mm, not quite. It's not bad. Maybe when it dries, it'll look. No, you know what? I'm being a perfectionist. We're gonna flip it over and start again. <laughs> All right, let's do this again. One. Three. All right. Mask one. Mask two. Success. All right, so there we go. And then I want to do another one here. Hopefully, I don't need three masks. Where's my go? So you see how it makes it look like the flowers are kind of overlapping each other? Well, that's that's the purpose of masking. Um, so you're not stamping over your stamps. Okay, hold on. Next one, where am I? It should be down here somewhere, right? Because I've been doing... Ah! There we go. Okay, and... Could probably have done with three masks, but we're gonna try and make do with two here. So I'm gonna tuck this one over here. There we go. Mm. Gets trickier the more you do them. Layers upon layers of flowers here. Okay, and then let me do one more. There we have our background piece. So I think I'm going to put that probably on the card like this. Okay. And then I'm going to use my stamp and some Whisper White cardstock to do our die cut flower. So again, I'm going to start with the black um, outline. Because that's just what I'm feeling today. So we have our first layer. I'm going to do two because I want to play around with this a little bit and show you guys the differences and of what you can do. All right. So 
Next, I'm going to do this background. I'm going to do this in the Melon Mambo. I'm going to stamp it off once. Actually, you know what? These are photopolymer stamps, so it actually really helps to have some padding underneath while you're doing this. So let me grab my stamp pad. Here's my stamp mat. Okay. So let's do you know, my simple paper. You can stick it under your grid paper too if you want. Really neat trick is to wrap your paper in that. So if you can see that like photorealistic image there. Alright, so now we're gonna try and line this up here. Where's my little point? I like that point. Let's see it. I think. Right there. Okay. So I did that one stamped off. So now I'm going to stamp it on here. It just gives it a little bit lighter of a shade. Hold on. Okay. Now the one below it, I'm not going to stamp off. I'm going to see what it looks like. Just all on its own. So again, let's turn this over. Lined up. Okay, so we have our stamped off one and one that was full strength. We'll see which one we end up liking the best. Just clean off my stamp here. This one full strength. And so you can see that. Alright, now let's see if we can line this one up. Figure it out here. Inside, so okay, there we go. There we go. When you find it, you know it. Okay, so let's try and get that. Okay, voila! So there we have our rose. This is half strength and full, so stamped off and full on the black. The black, and then this. going to be full strength on full strength. Let's see what that looks like. You can also switch out your colors and do different shades. I just wanted to keep this card a little bit more monochrome. Alright, then we have full on full. Which one do you guys like better? Well, we'll die cut them and see what I think. I kind of like the, I like both, but I, so I want to use this paper with it. Some Melon Mongo Bright paper, so I'll have to see. I'm going to do what I think. You can also stamp the outline in um, Melon Mongo as well, but because I was doing the black and white border, I kind of wanted black and white thing going on. All right. Um, next, leaves. Okay. Let's clean this off. Let's do our leaves. Alright, I'm going to 
stick with the black because that's kind of my theme for this card. So let's do the black outline for our leaves. Like in the dark rose, the better. Better. All right. I'm gonna add some ribbon to this card. I'm looking at my black shimmery sparkly ribbon and thinking that would go really nicely. Okay. just gives it some extra dimension. There we go. Alright, so those are done. Let's do some die cutting. So we have up here. Line up our die. So let's do. I'm gonna die cut the. I think I like the darker one better. So I'm gonna die cut that one. Wash tape. So this did originally. You were able to buy a magnetic plate for the Big Shot, which I think some people really like. I <clears throat> found it a little finicky. Um, so I actually went back to just using the regular plates and using washi tape. Now, if you're going to use washi tape, just make sure you de-stick it a little bit because if not, it could rip your, rip your die cut. But I find this keeps the dies in place a lot better. The magnetic plate made my plate, the surface area, it seemed a lot smaller um, to use. So, but like I said, we're getting a new die cutting system, so I'm not, so this should be cool. Okay, so yeah, I just stick a couple people, pieces of washi tape on there. Um, and then, where'd my other plate go? Right here, perfect. All right, over top. Let's back up the rows. Yeah, let me just pop it out. All right, so we have our rose. All right, stick that over here so it's out of the way. Take my washi off. And then, my dies. Let's get out the leaf dye. Right here. So we also have 
these dies here, so like these extra leaves. I'm not sure I'm going to use them on this card, but I really like this, these leaves here. That might be a cool, cool flower kind of cut out. Um, we may use this stitch label. We'll see. We'll see how it. We'll see how this plays out. All right. Now let's die cut our leaves. So I'm just going to start with this one. I don't stress too much about getting them lined up properly. Exactly, I should say. Okay. Okay, one leaf. Oh, they look so nice together. <laughs> Sitting over there. Waiting. All right. Next. Next. Being lazy. Okay. okay. All right. Drop something else. <laughs> this could be a drinking game. It's probably too early for a drinking game. But you can take a shot. Take a sip of coffee. Every time I drop something, you'll be well caffeinated today. So we have our flower and our three leaf pieces, which we can kind of figure out how we want to arrange later. Probably something a little like this. All right, and our card. think blah, 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 blah. Okay. and then where's my paper there you go okay I think I want to do just some peekaboo color with this Take a sip of coffee. <laughs> okay. All right, 
here's their sparkly ribbon. Where's my... Let's cut this. I'm going to layer on top of there. So the pink just... Yes, I like that. Okay. So... glue dots or even yeah glue dots I still have fast fuse left so I'm going to just use some fast fuse Love it. Okay. I think so. Okay. All right. I'm going to this down the top. Okay. So I let, I use snail for usually just doing designer series paper onto like the thinner paper onto cardstock. But if I'm putting cardstock onto anything. I used to use fast fuse, and I, f I sometimes will still do that, but if I'm teaching classes, I use the Tombow, because it just, it holds better, and it's stronger. Find. Okay. So there we go. Oops. Sneaking out. Being sneaky here. a glue dot there. It's not the end of the world if it's sticking out, I suppose. Just being picky. Stay where you are. Okay. Alright. So now, let's get our flower on here. Now what I could have done is put an embossed layer, dry embossed layer, underneath here. I'm looking at it now thinking, oh, that would be cool. Um, but I'm not going to do that for the sake of time. Okay, so I think that's kind of what our cards are going to look like. And then I'm going to, um, my other thought would be to add some other stuff underneath. But I like it like that. Um, my other thought... I'm just gonna do this. Oh, I'm being interrupted. Hold on. Yes. Hi. Can you intermission for a minute? I need to use the bathroom. I can do it in about five minutes. I'm live on the internet at the moment. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> uh, take the baby to the bathroom with you. That's what I do. Take the baby to the bathroom. <laughs> okay. Sorry, was that mean? <laughs> I 
I shouldn't laugh. Maybe you moms can relate. Okay. Okay. Let's get this. So I'm thinking we're going to stick this here. Do we fussy cut it or do we just stick a little strip across? Let's start with the strip and go from there. Okay, so I think we should do it. Maybe three quarters. You know what we could do? We could die cut it with a stitch shape framelit. That would make things easier. Hmm, let's do that. Actually, it's more of a modern card, so maybe we won't add a stitch sheet to it. Okay. There we go. Here's our strip. Did I cut that too small? Okay, we're gonna try this. I like didn't really give us any room to do that. But so you might want to cut yours bigger. I cut mine too three quarters of an inch, you might want to cut yours to an inch to get. Okay. Let's see if I can get this lined up. Can you, I don't know, can you even see that? I was doing that so well. You're going to get my head though. Okay, hold on. Just got it on there. I think I'm gonna need to I think I would need a bigger one. I do like that though, the strip. What do you guys think? Do we like it? Do we want to fussy cut it? Do we want to heat emboss it in white on black cardstock? <laughs> Probably. <laughs> Alright. And then fussy cut it? Yes, that's what I want to do, but I, uh, shh, it's not going to be five minutes. Okay, hold on. Where's my verse marker? Okay. Where's my black card stock? You watched yesterday's video? I said that I, um, sometimes stamp things, and then once my sentiments, and that's what's going to happen today. My fussy cutting scissors go. There they are. Okay, here we go. So we're going to stamp. Actually, I don't want burst mark. I want my white craft. Hey, look, I have a sparkly bow already tied. Not bad now. Okay. This is what we're doing. Here is. white craft ink. We're gonna ink this up really well. And it would be handy to have my tweezers down here. I actually do have tweezers for heat embossing that I just haven't gotten into my craft room since they moved. Okay, so here is that and I'm going to wait. We have a new shimmery of white embossing powder which would be lovely but I have I bought the shimmery black but I haven't bought the shimmery white, and I'm regretting that this morning. Okay, it'll still look lovely though, with just plain white. Okay, so before I do that, let's just move this away from the water, because knowing me, this morning it will end up spilling. Okay, just pick this up. Okay. 
Okay, we're gonna fussy cut it, so should be okay. Here and there. Alright, so there's my hit to there. Alrighty. So again, when you're fussy cutting, um, move the paper. Scissors. All right, thank you. I just want to cut here a little bit more. Closer to my Y. Thank you. All right, I think that'll, that'll work for now. I just, what do I think? Okay, that's oh, pretty good. All right, here we go. Lovely. Okay. So now I'm just going to go ahead and stick that on there. I might pop this up with some dimensionals. Um, but that's our card. I will post a photo of it later. Um, thank you so much for joining me today. And have a good weekend. I will see you um, Monday morning again for another Coffee and Craft. Thanks, guys. Bye. <laughs>